Uh, I'm just going to get my phone out. I hope you don't mind, because um, I want to read you guys um, a message that um, a 13-year-old girl sent me on my like Facebook fan page. Feel free to like it. Um, <laughs> she sent me this message because she needed advice from a gay icon such as myself. Uh, and she basically was very, like, she was nervous that her maths teacher might be gay, which is obviously a really scary situation. <laughs> So she just sort of came to me to sort of like walk her through it. I guess like she gave me a list of everything that he did that could be considered gay. Uh, and I guess the idea is that my job is like to be the proven gay and sort of run over it with like that famous uh, gay dart that we hear a lot about. Just sort of go like, Ooh, beep, 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 beep and let her know. Um, well, she doesn't know, she asked the wrong person. My gaydar is terrible. Last weekend, I sucked a guy's fingers off in a garage because he was too scared to let me suck his dick. So... <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, so, yeah, anyway, I'm going to go through the list. Thank you. Uh, it's gonna be a, a fun show. Um, I'm gonna go through the list with you guys and um, you can sort of decide in your own head if you think he's gay. Okay, so basically, cool. So the first reason on the list of why this uh, math teacher might be gay is he has a gay voice. <laughs> quite self-explanatory. Uh, this next one just says, he came in with a big hello, hello. <laughs> So just for anyone that might have missed that, uh, one hello is straight. <laughs> Two hellos, you're getting a little bit faggy. So just watch out for that one. Uh, this one says, not caring, example, laid back. I don't think she knows what an example is. <laughs> Uh, the son just says, he talked about scented candles. That's pretty gay. Uh, that one does sound bad, you guys. What you do need to know is it was actually in the form of a maths problem. Uh, yeah, and basically how it went was if um, Stephen has six scented candles and his life partner Alejandro has seven. <laughs> How many scented candles do they have? Remember to carry the three and keep into account they're all shaped like penises. So... That one's gay. Uh, the son just says, he stands up straight. Um, so just any heterosexual, I don't know the ratio of gays to straights tonight, any heterosexual people that might be in the audience tonight, just make sure when you stand up at the end of the show, you do so with just a slight slouch. <laughs> um, otherwise you're leading me on and that would be fucked up, so... <laughs> this one literally just says, it says he's been smoke free for seven weeks. <laughs> know is six weeks bisexual like where's where do you cut it off uh i feel bad for him at this point you guys i feel bad for this maths teacher because i feel like he's just like he's he's just living his life and he's just he's been smoke free for seven weeks he's super proud of himself it's a big accomplishment he's like it's finally time i can tell my kids uh, and he goes into the classroom he's like hello hello uh, <laughs> You guys, I have been smoke free for seven weeks. And just some kid at the back of the class yells out, gay. <laughs> Completely ruins his life. Uh, this is the last one on the list. This one just says, 
he sits down slowly. <laughs> yep. We're going there. Very calm. Like as if he's being very careful. <laughs> Which I think that one is just because of his butt plug. Uh, 